What does Islam say about alcohol? Does it prohibit it entirely? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90, Ya ayyuhalazin amunu, O you believe, inna mal khamru al maisuru, most certainly intoxicants and gambling, wal ansawbu al azlamu, dedication of stones, divination of arrows, rishthu min amali shaitan, these are Satan's handiwork, first anibula lukum tuflihun, abstain from this handiwork that you may prosper. So Allah says, this is rich summin amali shaitan. It's a certain handiwork. Abstain from it that you may prosper. And Imam al dhabi in his list of Al-Qabair, the 70 major sins, he puts having alcohol, intoxicants, khamar, having wine, number 19 in the list. And having intoxicants is even prohibited in Christianity. If you read the Bible, it's mentioned in the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1. It says that wine is a mocker. It is strong raging drink. And anyone who is deceived, he is not wise. It's mentioned in the book of Ephesians, chapter number 5, verse number 18. Be not drunk with wine. But unfortunately, we find that none of the Christians and the Jews, they follow the advice given in the Bible, unfortunately. And what is the logic, the reason that Islam has prohibited alcohol? Normally in a human being, there is an inhibitory center. This inhibitory center, it prevents a human being from doing things which are illogical and not correct. For example, if a person wants to go to the call of nature, the inhibitory center will say that don't do it in a public place, go to the toilet. Inhibitory center is working. An inhibitory center, when a person speaks to the parents, tells that don't be disrespectful to parents, don't use foul language. So this is the work of inhibitory center. When a person is intoxicated, when a person has intoxication, has wine, has alcohol, the inhibitory center is inhibited. And he doesn't know what he's speaking, therefore you find many of them, they start cursing, they start doing verbal abuse. You find them saying obscene things. You may find them that they urinate in their own clothes. So this is because the inhibitory center is inhibited. And if we analyze, that alcohol is responsible for many crimes that take place. According to the US Department of Justice, 1996, every day in the year 1996, 2,713 cases of rape took place. That means every 30 to second, one rape is taking place in America in 1996. And the report says that majority of the people who committed rape, they were intoxicated. Furthermore, according to American statistics, it says that 8% of the Americans, they indulge in incest, having intercourse with the close relative. And it says that every 12th person you come across in America, they're doing incest. And majority of them, they're in a state of intoxication when they do incest. So we realize that alcoholism, besides being bad for the health, it's a cause for many diseases and health-wise, and even it's a cause for AIDS which has recently cropped up. And there are many people who say that I am a social drinker and I have only one peg, I don't get intoxicated. When you interview the alcoholics, all of them, when we ask them, they will say that initially they were social drinkers. No alcoholic starts to drink because he wants to become alcoholic. All of them are social drinkers. And later on, they become alcoholics. And if you meet any social drinker who has been drinking for a couple of years, you ask him that how many times he been intoxicated. And there will be several times that he's been intoxicated with all the power that he has. And once a person is intoxicated, and if he commits a sin like rape, like incest, it's an unforgivable sin and irreversible damage done. And we realize that that's the reason our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallam mentioned in Ibn Majah, volume number 3, Book of Intoxicants, chapter number 30, hadith number 3371. The beloved Prophet said that intoxication, alcohol, is the mother of all evils. Alcohol is the mother of all evils. And it further mentioned in Ibn Majah, volume number 3, Book of Intoxicants, chapter number 30, hadith number 3392. The beloved Prophet said, that anything which intoxicates in large quantity 
is even prohibited in small quantity. No excuse for Nippura tot. You can't say that I'll take a peg, you know. Whatever intoxicates in large quantity is in prohibited in small quantity. And the beloved prophet, he has cursed 10 categories of people who indulge in alcohol. It's mentioned in Ibn Majah, volume number 3, Book of Intoxicants, chapter number 30, hadith number 3380, the beloved prophet said, 10 categories of people who indulge in alcohol are cursed. The one who distills it, the one for whom it is distilled, the one who drinks it, the one who transports it, the one for whom it is bought, the one who sells it, the one who serves it, the one who utilizes the earnings from the sale of alcohol, the one who buys it, the one who buys it for somebody else. So all these 10 categories of people, they are cursed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there are various different diseases that a person can acquire when he has alcohol. And today, alcohol is one of the major causes for the maximum number of deaths in the world. And today science tells us, and many people are aware of it, that the various diseases a person can have. The most common is cirrhosis of liver. If a person is alcoholic, he has high chances of having cirrhosis of liver. He can have cancer of the esophagus, cancer of the head and neck, cancer of the bowel, cancer of the liver. He can have gastritis, he can have esophagitis, pancreatitis, hepatitis. A person who has alcohol, there are chances that he will have cardiomyopathy, he will have angina, heart attack arthrosclerosis, he can have strokes, apoplexy, fits. A person who has alcohol regularly, there are high chances that the person, he can have cortical neuropathy, cerebral neuropathy, he can have peripheral neuroma. There are various diseases that a person can have due to the consumption of alcohol. Diseases such as Wernicke's Korsakoff syndrome that involves amnesia of the recent memory and retention of the old memory is due to thiamine deficiency. A person who has alcohol, he can have delirium tremens, which is associated with alcohol. A person can have pellagra and he can have skin diseases. A person who takes alcohol regularly, there are high chances that he can have endocrine disorders like mixed edema, like hypothyroidism. He can have hematological disorders like microcytic anemia. He can have jaundice. He can have thrombocytopenia. He can have platelet disorders. A person who has alcohol, there are chances that the common drugs like metronidazole, flagyl, they can create a problem for a person who has alcohol regularly. A person with alcohol regularly, he can have infections because the immunity system is decreased. There are high chances that he can have chest infections like lung abscess, emphysema, pulmonary tuberculosis. A person who's a woman, she can get affected more by alcohol and the cirrhosis of liver is much dangerous in the woman. If she's pregnant, she can have the alcohol fetal syndrome. They can be skin disorders like alopecia. They can be nail dystrophy. They can be angular stomatitis. You can keep on listing the diseases for us together only because of the consumption of alcohol. But nowadays, my colleagues, the medical doctors, they say that alcoholism is a disease. You know, they try to pacify that don't be rude to the alcoholic. No, don't blame him. Alcoholism is a disease. If alcoholism is a disease, it is the only disease that is sold in bottles. It is the only disease that is advertised in the newspapers, in the magazines, on the radio broadcast stations. It's advertised in the satellite channels, in the television. It is the only disease that has licensed outlets for its sale. It is the only disease that brings a revenue to the government. It is the only disease that causes violent deaths on the highways. It is the only disease that ruins family. 
It is the only disease that has got no viral or germ cause. It's not a disease. As Allah says in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 90, Rishthu min amali shaitan. It is a Satan's handiwork. First, abstain from this handiwork that you may prosper.